So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. It probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. Ugh, I shouldn't have turned down that food you offered me earlier. <laughs> that is one runaway train of thought. <laughs> Sorry. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit. Damn. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are else. they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it all for yourself. What should we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh yeah, I, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. 
These are for y'all. Back fresh this morning. Holy moly! Sorry. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. So what's your read on Andy so far? Think they'd be open to letting us stay? Getting the perimeter secured is gonna help us a lot. We'll be getting in good and making this place safer for us. I'm gonna get back to it. What's that? Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. 
I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Do you think we're doing enough to get the St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over-anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is gonna go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Disgusting. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. <laughs> what the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out!
Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit, that hurts. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Again, Gonna have to move it. Get forward! Turn right! We had a deal! Give it to uh. you! Now hey, I got going! Get to Another one? How many of those things did I we push do down? This all day. Get out of the open. Show me! Uh, 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 what about our race? You okay? Yeah. Bear. Come on. The gate's right there. Get out of here! You lucky sons of bitches! Go ahead and run! We ain't going nowhere! Lee! What's wrong? There was a goddamn ambush out there! Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all! Mark! Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it! Doug said this place was safe. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Doug? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's got to watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. There's 
storing gasoline all over the property. Gas keeps the generators going and the generators keep the fence going. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? That'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Lee, I know you and Kenny are friends. But you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. And not giving my dad food. That was cold. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. a fence electrified. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. Well, I'll bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, we gotta work together on this. Those bandits are a danger to everybody. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. <laughs> 